sharpening. Mm -hmm. Wood. Basically, you could use There's out in the woods or the wilderness to sharpen your knife or axe. And I got here is a hand forged axe uh, knife that really needs a lot of work. See that edge? So we need we have to do some grinding to this guy. So basically, what I look at this and I say, hmm. I want to find the most aggressive piece of stone that I can find <clears throat> to take care of this, all right? And I think I got it right here. I'm not sure exactly what this is, maybe a piece of quartz. I don't think you have sandstone up here? No, that, that's, a, that's granite with a little bit of quartz. Or granite and yeah. quartz right here? Yeah, a little all bit of right. quartz. Right here. Well, I like using sandstone, but if you don't have it, you don't have it. Um, you can always find a brick laying around somewhere, you know, there's always been a building or something. That's also good for just re-edging something, but for this guy here, I want to just find an area on my stone. It doesn't have to be flat, okay, because when you're sharpening, you're only sharpening about that much of that knife at a time, okay? So flatness doesn't mean anything to me, okay? So I was going to get myself an area on the stone. And what I'm going to do is basically start sharpening it, get comfortable. What I'm doing now is always looking at, you can see where I'm taking material off because it's going to start shining up on you, okay? That would be constant observation. Always look at the material you're taking off because I can put this thing anywhere and take any amount of material off that I like. Okay. So basically all I want to do is start um, <clears throat> filing down the thickness of this side here, okay? So I'm going to decide in my mind because this thing doesn't have a, have a primary edge on it right now, but I'm going to decide where one's going to be, okay? So I'll call this the shoulder, okay, and this will be my main edge. So basically I want to start working on that shoulder area. I want to thin it out. Suggestions when you first start out, get yourself a cheap knife, but something that's carbon steel. Don't try to mess around with stainless, stainless is too soft. Alright, get some carbon steel. You can use a, a natural stone, but you want to go out and maybe get some king stones, buy some stones, some Japanese water stones, and then start sharpening it. <coughs> And just keep watching where you're taking your material off, okay? Because a lot of knives come from the factory. We all know this. It has your main edge, and then it has a secondary bevel ground into it. You know what I mean by that? Yeah. It'll have that nice looking, nice looking edge going down, and then there's another edge carved into that. I, I remove that. I get that right out of there. 
because everybody's natural sharpening, when you sharpen, you're going to actually roll. If I went slow, I'm going to exaggerate this. When I sharpen, I'm rolling. You see how I'm rolling it? It's going to, you're going to have a natural roll. To any, everybody's like, in that hand sharpening way, you'll get a natural roll. And you'll remove that. So you just want to just find your natural um, movement and just go with it. I'll pull out another knife and show you something that doesn't have to be as worked on as much. But this is a good demonstration to show you if you don't have a cutting tool and you're out there and what do you got? You find a piece of steel somewhere, you know. You can always take it to your fire and fire harden it, you know. You can harden it up and then go ahead and do this. But I suggest if you do do that, try to get as much of your edge ground in before you do harden it because it's going to be a bear to sharpen it later. Yep. But you see all this stone that I'm creating here, the slurry? Yeah. You want to keep that there because that's just adding more, more abrasion. And I'm almost starting to get a flat spot here. side you can do it the same way. You can go like this or if you feel comfortable switching hands and doing it this way. But it's just the same motion. And just constantly keep staring. Just keep looking at where what metal, what parts of the knife you're taking metal off on. Yeah, I'm still trying to thin it out enough. Because <clears throat> I don't want to create another secondary bevel. I just want to create a sharp edge from this edge here. So it's kind of called a convex. A convex grind, it's just more of a gradual roll into a point. Okay? It's not just like a Scandi where it's sharpened right to a tip. Okay. Even with Scandies and you um, hand sharpen them, just that natural roll of your 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 body is going to end up making them convex. It's going to make that roll. The so cross section of convex is like the aerial view of a bow of a ship. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I just started taking uh, the Scandi grind off of my Mora because I wanted to be stay sharper. <laughs> Yeah, because I know with Mora's, it's just such an abrupt edge, and, and if you look at it, it's real, real, it's small, real yeah. thin. Yeah, you know, and you can just chip that out real easy. It bends, it rolls over. You know, that's why I, I kind of prefer if I'm doing, you know, work out in the woods and you know, really beating on my knife, I'll have a some meat behind it, some metal behind that 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 leading edge. You know.
This thing's been annoying me. And I just kind of self-taught myself, self-taught myself. <laughs> I'm self-taught and <laughs> how I sharpen, you know, just by watching guys, you know, watching these uh, tribesmen especially, you know. They got their rock sitting next to the side of their house. They grab their parang, and that rock's just like a, similar to this, but a little longer, but it's all concaved, you know. Mm -hmm. And they just sit there and they just you know, sharpen away, you know. <laughs> What I'm going to try to achieve when I suggest to you when you first start sharpening and when you do that is go ahead and work on one side, okay? You work on one side until you start, when you run your finger across the opposite side, run your finger up, you'll feel a burr starting to lay over on one side, okay? And when you feel that consistently all the way to the tip, turn the knife around, okay? And then... Do it. Do the same. Grind it down and keep looking. And you want to keep um, sharpening each side so it looks, you know, as close to each other each side as possible. But you want to flip that burr to the other side. Okay. Once when you create that burr, underneath that burr will be your sharpened edge. Okay. You just want to knock that burr off. Okay. And then you have a nice sharp blade. Think a lot about sharpening is just doing it. That's why I say get yourself a couple of cheap blades. Go ahead and have at it. Screw them up. You know, you can't sharpen them enough. You ever see a butcher's knife? <laughs> like by the end of their, you know, a couple of years, the knife's like really thin. Okay, well this is a extreme example <laughs> right here I say if you think. found a piece of steel in the woods and you know <laughs> you needed to <laughs> fix it up all right mongo use hammer but not so well <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll i'll work on this and let you guys work on this one too and you yeah i took okay. all the black off <laughs> Nine days later. But if you look, see how I'm starting to thin out up here? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to get a sharper edge. Yeah. And over here. Now where do I want to concentrate sharpening? Just from here to here, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm getting a little edge here. Oh yeah. And I'm getting somewhat of an edge up here. Yeah. Okay. But so see good. how you can still yeah. see. Yeah. So like a dime right so here. Have you not done? Have you been specifically so focusing you reset, on those like two a dime areas? thickness? Not specifically focusing. <laughs> I just been grinding at it to see where it's going. Okay. You know what I mean? Kind of finding out where it wants to go. But now I, I see where it's going. I gotta concentrate on this section right here. So I'll just go ahead and put a little more effort into that section. I know, it's back at the bigger. Shoot, I'm fine. Ariel doesn't even have a car. Yeah. 
Can you see that you don't need No. Okay, yes, maybe I want to really do it. Okay. You know, I like the slurry so much here, but... Is this It's like rose quartz. This here, down the right, yeah, yeah, down the far right. right. Has that reddish color? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not in there. It's not like that. So using your hands to grind it from that far back forward with that thickness is going to give a pretty, would you say a massive curve to the to the grind? And is that beneficial over the long term? Or How do you mean a massive like, curve? I imagine most blades, when they're thin, you, you don't have to work from, from way back here. You're up close. So the bow isn't like this, it's more exactly. like it's more, this. Yeah, it's, you're thinning it out. So it's, because if you had a, if you have an edge or you're trying to sharpen something with that much of material on each side, this leading edge here, it, you won't be able to get it sharp. Okay. It just, it's too fat, you know? So that's my whole, my whole reasoning is I'm, I'm bringing that edge, the shoulder right. of that edge in so this edge up here is thin. Yeah. So I'll work on it just a little bit more, and then we'll just we'll do like a normal knife that you would with, carry with yeah. you, you know. Instead of like, no, this this is this okay. will this will we'll get this thing charged. Stop all of your mocking stairs, stairs. <laughs> You'll be able to shave with it. <laughs> Shaving sharp, man. See that? Yeah. It only took nine hours and three rocks. So, <laughs> How long did it take you to find that rock? Was what? it just right there? This rock. This one rock. was right over there, yeah. yeah. So you know there's rocks everywhere. You know, I mean, super thick there. Is it something with the flat? River thing? rocks, you know. This, this surface really ain't too flat, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm not worried about flatness, because I can sit here on this side here and, yeah, right. and get the same effect, yeah. you know? Because look at how much area I'm touching at once. You know, yeah, if I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna probably touch about that much of that area, but, still, yeah. but you're only touching about this much at a time, mm. you know? And it's just pay attention, paying attention to where the material's coming off. So is this less effective than a than a whetstone, or is the brick much more effective? For this one, I mean, you'd have to get. I think the lowest grit they make is 180, 220 okay. grit on a whetstone. This is grinding material right here. I would take my sander. I got a belt sander, and I would put an edge on this first. Okay. With a belt sander. Okay. Like I said, I'm just explaining to you if you come across something in the woods, you know, like I need a cutting tool. You know, all my rocks are sandstone and they're breaking into pieces. And, you know, I need something to use to cut okay. my squirrel. Gotcha. I was just curious. Not like... All right. So with uh, that much steel, how many squirrels do you think you would go through before you got to sharpen it again? What's that? With uh, like a concave edge. 856. Oh, this thing, you can just, you could keep it razor sharp just with your belt. Just drop it on your belt. Wow. Done. You know, after you go, with a couple of wax on your strap, keep going.